Hey guys, welcome to day, what are we on? Day eight. Day seven. Day seven. Welcome to day seven of Vlogtober. So as you can see, we are in chill mode because it has been a crazy weekend and a crazy busy week. Um, when you include night watch that we had to do on Monday night in the whole scheme of things, we just needed a day to just recoup. On our way back here last night, we were trying to think of things that we would include in today's vlog. And we came up with the idea that we were going to clean our garage because in a vlog a little while ago we mentioned that it was an absolute disaster with sales and stuff like that that needed to be sorted out. It so still can... is an absolute disaster with and sales. It, yeah, it's still a disaster. So we thought maybe we'll clean that tomorrow and that can be something that we'll do. But we woke up this morning to pouring rain. The Claymont doesn't, it doesn't drizzle here. It, it works in extremes. It's either there's no rain or it is torrential downpours. So we just are completely unmotivated because what we want to do is we want to take the car out of the garage, pull all the stuff out of the garage and then put it back into the garage. So with it being so wet and miserable outside of the garage, we just thought, no, you know what, let's can that idea. We've got a few things that we need to do tomorrow in Amanus, so we'll go through there and maybe when we come back from Amanus tomorrow afternoon and the car's already out, we'll then do it. Speaking of the car, would you like to tell them what you did last night to our poor car? Uh, yeah, well, hmm. So, at the aquarium, they're busy doing renovations. And obviously with renovations, there's lots of building rubble, so there was a skip. And someone decided, in their wisdom, while I was reversing, to put the skip in, in my way. And... Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> actually, that is what happened. Sure so, so, one minute I was looking back and there was no skip. And the next second, someone had moved it into my path. Apparently it jumped out in front of, well, behind you. Yeah, you know, just randomly. And what's John, what John's forgetting to mention here is that the skip... Or the tip or the garbage dumpster whatever you want to call it it's the size of a small house so in order to miss it i don't, I don't know how you would miss it it's the size of pluto so talia was busy packing up inside the venue and i was busy carrying stuff to the car i had great intentions because i basically wanted to reverse the car so there was easy access to put the equipment in and but you did reverse the car i, I just reversed it into the sky <laughs> a little bit skip. too far he just took it that one step and and our car's quite awkward because it doesn't have rear. It's got a well, very. Side it doesn't have side, side windows. Yeah, side windows. So it's it's not the easiest thing to maneuver. And and I was busy reversing and then looking in the right hand side. Well, there were bricks on the right, and I was looking in the right hand side mirror, and I thought, ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm I've got it sorted. And then I just heard crunch. And it, you know, if you hit another car gently, as those of you who are less adept, adept at um, driving will have, it, there's, there's a sound that is kind of like a knock and you know that you've hit something but you know that the damage is going to be minimal. And then there's the sound of metal on metal. <laughs> and it's, it's... Which one was this? This is metal on metal. Uh. It's sort of like hands down, nails down a chalkboard. It, it's sort of a, a scraping, grinding, and, and the thud, the impact that I felt was, was kind of, yep, that's not a little dent. And so, if you know a good panel beater, <laughs> we're looking for one. Talia was amazing. She was very calm. And, and normally, the quick fire questions would have come flying at me, but they didn't. And she said, it's okay, it's done and we'll get it sorted with money that we don't have. Because <laughs> <laughs> who really has money to fix things that happen by mistake? I mean, really. It's just really annoying. Anyway. It's so inconvenient. That added some excitement to our evening. <laughs> excitement? <laughs> Negative it was, excitement. It was eventful. It was eventful. Oh, what so, a tip. It was a very strange function because of the fact that the people came and ate and left. Very quickly. The whole function was supposed to start at half past six, but it, uh, the people only arrived. They were all delayed and everything went wild. They, they had a very busy day. They went up Table Mountain and they went on a boat trip and everything was delayed. And so they ended up arriving at the function at quarter past eight. Literally, speeches were done. There was one speech. Well, yeah, one speech was done. 
they ate dinner they and literally left i'm not sure that all of them even ate dessert no i think most didn't but what we got was really nice footage because of the fact that we arrived and the function was supposed to start at half past six but because they were only arriving at quarter past eight we basically had the aquarium to ourselves which was which really was great, great. Really so good. if you haven't watched our aquarium footage, it is worth watching. It'll be in the top right hand corner, right over here. Click on it and check it out. We were hoping to see some big sharks, but the big sharks were apparently moved back into the ocean for the renovations because they were redoing the predator tank. Mm. So the sharks that you're seeing in the footage are actually very small sharks. I can guarantee it would still bite your arm off. Yeah, I wouldn't swim with them. <laughs> so sorry that we don't have any awesome footage for you guys today other than us lying on the bed. And let's be honest, that's about as awesome as it gets in life. <laughs> <laughs> but we hope you enjoyed our ramblings. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye. Cheers.